All right, I'm gonna try and show you guys today how to throw um, an effective changeup. So, start out, we kind of need to understand what a changeup can do. Um, so the first thing is the changeup can run um, your arm side. So say I'm right-handed, um, when I throw it, that ball's gonna run to my arm side. Um, the second thing, it's gonna drop. An effective changeup will drop in the zone last second. So it's kind of straight, 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 and then it's dropping. Um, and the third thing, and uh, the biggest thing, is just it's going to be um, slower than your fastball. So there's going to be um, a speed variation between your changeup and fastball. Um, your changeup can not move at all. It can be straight. Um, but if it's six to eight miles per hour slower than your fastball, um, it's really going to be um, effective to keep those hitters off balance and uh, disrupt that timing. So there's two kind of grips to a changeup. Um, and the key to understanding which one is best for you um, is just to throw it. Um, play around with all of them. Move your fingers around. Um, what I'm going to try and teach today is just kind of the core principles of it. Um, everybody's is different, and nobody's the same. So I don't expect that out of anybody. So the first thing, um, it's called a circle changeup. So basically, this is kind of your circle, hence the name. Um, so what I like to do... When I'm teaching it is um, kind of make this three-point symbol right here and I'm just gonna take it and put it right here on the inside of the horseshoe of the baseball and then my other three fingers are just kind of gonna lay here um, so that's kind of the circle change up uh, the next one is kind of newer um, it's called a Vulcan which is basically just a um, split finger change up um, so we're splitting the middle finger and the ring finger and uh, this is how I throw mine so this is kind of the base principles um, I like to take this horseshoe right here and just put it right on those two fingers right there so you can see how my fingers are kind of split right there and then um, same thing you still have that circle right here and that's pretty generic with all change-ups you're always kind of gonna have that circle right there um, I tend to overlap my pointer finger and thumb that just kind of helps it get more movement out of it. And then um, with our pinky on both of these, our pinky is just kind of going to be there for along for the ride. Um, I like to tuck mine up kind of. I actually lift it off the ball just a hair. Um, I just tuck it up against my ring finger here. It's kind of just there for the ride. Um, the reason it's just kind of there for the ride, why I say it that way, is the next thing we're going to move into is how to position our hand when we go to throw it. So there's kind of three um, different ways our arm can move um, when we pitch. So a fastball, um, you just kind of, it's just straight. That's why you're willing to throw that fastball straight. Um, it's going to spin, backspin, um, just like this. Um, the next way our hand, I guess, is going to move, um, it's called supination. So supination is when your arm comes here and then it's going to come here. So say um, your arm supinates when you throw a curveball. Um, it supinates when you throw a slider. Uh, anything that runs this way, uh, our hand is going to supinate. So fastball is here. Curveball is going to be here. And then a changeup, you actually pronate your hand. So the pronation is you're going to pronate your hand away from your body. So fastball, um, you're just trying to stay behind it. Supination, curveball, pronation, changeup. So when you go to throw the change up, the best way that I like to imagine it is your hand is, so your hand is like this, and we're trying to fit it through a doorway that's smaller than your hand. So we're going to pronate our hand sideways to fit it through the doorway. Um, that's the best visual I can give you guys. So we're going to take our grip, whatever grip is comfortable for you, um, and basically our arm's going to come back. And as we throw... The last second, what our hand is going to do is fit it through that doorway and pronate. So we're here, throw, last second, our hands back, 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 and then we turn it over and fit it through that doorway. And that's going to, the ball is going to come off your hand like this and be spinning away. And uh, it's going to either drop, um, run, have the arm side run, or uh, the key thing is just it's going to be slower um, than our fastball. Uh, a couple other things. Um, the deeper you hold it in the hand, 
Um, so I'll hold it in my left hand for you guys. So if you hold it deeper in your hand and eliminate kind of that pocket under there, um, it's going to slow it down, but I've come to find out that it's not going to move as much. Um, so I like to keep mine out kind of in my fingertips a little more. There's more room under here. Um, it's pretty loose in my hand. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to really, really rip with my middle, the inside of my middle finger here. So I'm going to put it, I'm going to really rest it hard on this lace. And as I go to pronate, the last thing that's going to come off this ball is going to be the inside, the left side of my left-handed middle finger. So for righties, it's going to be um, the right side of the middle of their right hand, or right, right uh, middle finger, that is. So that's kind of a couple of things, um, just to reiterate everything, um, just throw it all the time. Um, that's kind of the best thing, the best advice I can give you guys. Um, just throw it all the time. Um, in catch play, um, in your bullpens, work on it all the time. That's the best way to perfect it is just throw it. Um, there's no, it's one of the most effective pitches to throw in my opinion. Um, a lot of people think the curveball is, or, you know, a slider. Um, I think it's the most effective off-speed pitch um, that you can throw in the game. And uh, if you can command a fastball and changeup, um, it makes your curveball or slider look just 10 times better. And uh, if you can command, command three pitches, um, you're sitting really pretty, uh, and you're going to pitch uh, really deep into baseball games. So hopefully that helps. Um, if you guys have any other questions, just uh, let me know.